How can anyone be sure that any single religion is right? How can billions of Buddhists be wrong? How can millions of Muslims be wrong? How do you know Christianity is the one true religion? How can we ra rationalize Christianity is the only way to God with Asia, which is comprised of half the human population, has belief systems that are fundamentally opposite to ours? Why would a God of love who holds the very essence of creativity in his hand have created this free will system as the best one for humanity? Now, what are the boundaries of our free will? Is salvation our choice or God's choice? What happens to humans who never hear the word of God? I, I want to deal and address with this issue, you know, when the world is dominantly Buddhist and Hindu and Muslim and, and then the scriptures say that Jesus is the way, the truth and life and that no one comes to the Father by him and, and how is it that, a, that we could possibly conceive that Jesus is the only way to God? What happens to people to, who never hear or what, what, what about a person who lives a moral life or a just life? Or, and, and all these questions are asking an important question about God. Does God care more than us? Because what we are basically asking is, or maybe we're saying is, I could not give my life to a God who doesn't care about everyone. This isn't about which religion is right. This is about who gives life to the human spirit. Say, well, why does Jesus say he's the only way? He's not giving you the bad news from his perspective. He's giving you the bad news from reality, saying no one else is coming for you. There is no other God who loves you and passionately pursues you and longs to forgive you of your sin and to heal you from your brokenness. So choose life because the Lord is your life.